Okay, um, so it's about time for the next presentation. The next talk will be online again and will be given by Mr. Yuta Kawajima, a chief at Department of Industry Academy Collaboration from JST or Japan Science and Technology Agency. Um, let me briefly introduce about JST before uh, our speaker start presentation. JST is an organization with an annual budget of about 114 billion yen, or actually about um, 30,000,000 baht per year. A very huge budget. Um, and JST used its budget for three activity pillars. One is planning and proposal of R&D strategy, co-creating the future. And the second one is creation of knowledge and transformation to economic and social value. And the third one, promotion of um, future co-creation and the nurturing of human resources. More importantly, I think JST carries out these activities uh, in collaboration with related university, research institute, companies, and schools. So today, Mr. Um, Kawashima will be sharing us about how to drive deep science research to utilization in JST. So please welcome Mr. Yuta Kawashima with me. Okay, thank you. Um, ladies and gentlemen, Sawadi Krupp. Uh, this is Yuta Kawashima from Japan Science and Technology Agency. Uh, it is my great pleasure and honor uh, to introduce uh, JST's activities in this excellent occasion. Um, and I also thank Biotech and uh, uh, NCTDA to invite me to the conference. Um, unlike the two previous speakers, my presentation may not be directly about uh, synthetic biology, but I hope I can give you some useful information and food for thought about a part of translation process of basic research from lab to the market. Okay, next slide. So first, as an introduction, I briefly explain the government's governmental structure related to SDI, JSD, and my department. Uh, second and third, I introduce technology transfer activities in JSD broken down to two parts, uh, industry academia collaboration and startup creation and support. And finally, I will introduce a couple of examples of the relevant achievements in a broad biology area. So firstly, introduction. So here, the rough chart of SDI uh, related to governmental organization. Uh, on your left, CSDI in the cabinet office on the top, uh, responsible for investigating and discussing SNT, SNT related policies and resource allocation. Oh, thank you for sharing uh, the slide. So, um, under the council, there are seven SDI related ministries. JSD is one of the funding agency under MEXT. Next, next page, please. Um, JSD, as implementation body of uh, science and technology policy in Japan, uh, coordinated with both academia and the industry, JSD conducts various activities such as funding programs, R&D strategy planning, information services, and the public engagement. Next page, please. Uh, here's JSD's overall budget. Uh, the budget has recently been growing. Uh, 2022 budget is over 170 billion yen, approximately 1.23 billion US dollars, and about 75% is for running funding programs. Next page, please. So uh, there are largely two types of technology transfer in uh, JSD. Uh, industry academia collaboration and startup creation and support, as I mentioned. The program for industry and academia collaboration is ASTEP, standing for Adaptable and Seamless Technology Transfer Program through targeted driven R&D. Its annual budget is about 5.4 billion yen. There are two programs for startup creation and support. The one is START, standing for program for creating startups from advanced research and technology. The annual budget is about 2 billion yen. Another is success standing for support program of capital contribution to early stage companies. 
its budget is about 2.5 billion. In addition to that, uh, a fund of about 100 billion yen for strengthening university launched startups has been newly created at JSD. Next page, please. So I move to industry academia collaboration a bit more detail. So A step stand A step. Um, in a nutshell, A step is technology transfer program through industry academia collaboration. And A step is promoting R and D and the utilization of research results from academia, and having several support menus in order to cover different R and D scales and phases. Um, it's grateful to know that we have supported Professor Honda excellent research through ASTEP in the past. Um, next page, please. So here's the chart of the support menus. On your left, try out funds relatively small amount to a large number of projects. It's meant to explore new sprouts of technology utilization. On the middle, empirical research type is meant to be preparatory stage of, of the full scale type. On the right, full scale type supports relatively large scale projects and requires industry to make financial contribution. Next page, please. So this is a, a menu mapping, a rough map of the three support menus. Empirical research type on your left uh, bridges a gap between basic research and technology development phases. And on your right, full scale type aims to develop projects until industry can continue R&D by their own. And on the, on the other hand, the tryout as an explore, exploratory funding covers relatively wide range. Next page, please. So a bit more detail about tryout first. Uh, tryout is examining practical effectiveness of academia findings in which industry is interested. Meaning a project is conducted mainly by academia, but must be based on needs from industry, not for academia's own sake. Therefore, research should be conducted jointly with industrial entities. Funding relatively small amount to a large number of projects. And tryout also is supported by matching planners, which I, I will go a bit more details later, who aim to match industry needs with the research results from academia. Next page, please. So the next type is empirical research type. Empirical research type is brushing, brushing up novel, unique academia findings up to the level that industry can seek full-scale collaborative research. Empirical research type is searching suitable industrial partners. And empirical research type is supported by promotion advisors who have knowledge and network of both research and technology transfer. As mentioned, empirical research type serves as a bridge between basic research and technology development. I will mention a bit more about promotion advisors later. Next page, please. Finally, uh, Full scale type is examining practical effectiveness of academia findings to establish core technologies for innovation. And the full scale type is requiring industry to become project leader and also requiring industry to make financial contribution in accordance with their organization size. It's called match funding. Through in industry and academia collaboration with industry's full commitment. Full scale type serves as a bridge toward industries for R&D. Next page, please. Uh, as a program programs features, I want to highlight that the program has different types of experts to accelerate technology transfer. So on, on the top matching planner, who is JSD staff based in Tokyo headquarters and regional offices. In the pre-award period, they search industry's need and the academia sees nationwide. They also have a mission to follow up on a trial project in the post-award period. On the middle, innovation promotion manager, who is also JSD staff based in Tokyo, uh, their mission is to search pr prosperous research results within JSD 
in order to bridge between basic and the applied research. Finally, promotion advisor is an external industry academia collaboration. So these experts have relevant, relevant experience like R&D coordinator, et cetera, in industry and for academia. Next page, please. So start startup creation and support. So this is an overview of JSD's startup related programs, which ranges from entrepreneurship education to startup investment. For example, on the left, we support creating university led startup ecosystem. On the middle, we support brushing up research and business model in the pre-startup phase. On the right, we invest on startups born from JST's funding program. Next page, please. So this is brief introduction of the two programs. Start, uh, standing for program for creating startups from advanced research and technology supports researchers who aim to utilize their research through establishing startups, meaning the support is in the pre-startup phase. Start applicants are researchers and institutions in academia. In addition, start also supports business promoters in order to accelerate startup creation. On the other hand, success in so um, this slide shows a uh, start support menu on institutions in academia. It's called Startup Ecosystem Creation. Uh, there are eight startup cities selected by the government. The menu aims to create startup city platform within each city, which is composed of one core university and several other collaborative universities. The platform mobilizes resources from multiple stakeholders like venture capitals, private companies, local authorities, incubators, and accelerators. Next slide, please. So uh, for, for that support menu, JSD funds up to 80 million yen per year to each platform to support developing entrepreneurship education, strengthening gap funding programs, establishing a business environment, fostering a network with him, with various stakeholders, and so on. Next slide, please. So finally, uh, overview of success. Success objective is to enhance the commercialization of startups born from JST's funding program. Qualifications are the startup's core technology needs to be originated from JST funding programs. And the success startups need to be seed all these startups before or within five years from incorporation. The program budget is approximately 5 billion yen, about 36 million US dollars. An upper limit of individual investment is 50% of ownership ratio and 0 0.5 billion J Japanese yen in total. Next slide, please. As you see the chart, success invests on the seed early startups. For investment, JST often utilizes its network with other investment entities, such as private venture capitals and relevant governmental bodies. Hands-on support means various non-financial activities, such as consultancy, site visit, business advices, etc. To date, Success invested 36 startups, and five of them has been exited. Next slide, please. So lastly, I introduce a couple of achievements in the broad biology field. So this is Tokiwa Bio, the startups startup born from START program. The research project was supported by START in 2013 and then established Tokiwa Bio in 2014. 
the company's core technology, its stealth RNA vector SRV, a chimeric gene delivery expression system consisting of viral envelope and a synthetic RNA genome. The company uses SRV touching people that are suffering genetic diseases in the world. Next slide, please. So another example is Cortec. Cortec is core technology has been supported by JST's old industry academia programs in 2006 and 7. Then Cortec was established in 2015 and received support from success in 2018. Cortex is developing, is developing a radiation sensitizer called KRC01 that will greatly improve radiotherapy. By injecting KRC01 into radio resident tumor, the tumor turns to radio sensitive one, which makes radiotherapy more effective. The company is engaged in the clinical trial process now. The first GCP-based phase one trial in the Royal Marston Hospital in the UK confirmed the safety of the therapy in 2018. A following phase two trial aims to prove sparing efficacy for breast cancer, which will lead to regulatory approval for the product globally for any type of solid tumor. Next slide. This is the last slide. Um, uh, I, uh, I put the more details about the programs that I introduced. Sorry, ASTAPE and START has only uh, the website in Japanese, but you can Google translate it. Um, so thank you very much, Kopengun Krupp. Thank you very much, Mr. Um, Kawachima. I'm so sorry for the technical problems earlier. And we, we have lost some, some slides from you actually, but I, I just grabbed uh, some information that you share us, how JST uh, drive deep science to commercialization. And uh, you share us one slide in the menu mapping, right? Uh, if, if, if staff can, can change to the slide menu mapping. I think it's in interesting that you categorize the research type into three and it uh, contains like empirical research type and there are try out uh, research type. It's very interesting. So I would like to know that how successful of the, the, per, the, the, the research group that receive the grant in try out research type, how, how, percent, how many percent successful for, uh, for, the, for the grantee? Can you share us please? Um, as far as I know, trial successful rate is uh, 10 to 15 percent mm. per year. It depends on the, the budget size in each year. Okay, okay. But um, the, the application number is very high as well. Mm -hmm. Although we have we have selected more than 100 to 200 projects. Okay. But okay. sometimes um, we we receive the application from more than 1,000. Thank you very much, Mr. K uh, Kawajima. I think it's time for the next session. So please give a warm uh, grab for him.